Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to Sunday morning. Last night was epic. It was brilliant. The club was incredible. A hot, sweaty, writhing mess. It was just so loud. The bass just vibrating through my bloody body. My internal organs felt like they were being rearranged by it. It was incredible. Um, drum and bass was, it was a little bit dirty to be honest with you. I couldn't really express myself to it musically with my dance and stuff. Um, but it was enjoyable nonetheless. Everyone was doing this weird little shuffle back and forth rather than a proper dance. Uh, which is disappointing, but apart from that, it was absolutely fantastic. I got recognised a few times, received a lot of hot, sweaty hugs. Um, I mean, it was just so hot in there. If if the bloody club was a band, it would be sweat, sweat, sweat. Honestly, it was that bad. But yeah, it was a really, really good night overall. I've not long been back, actually. Um, so it started off with me going to this lady's house. Uh, her boyfriend was there, a fellow who watched my videos, he liked me. Uh, he's a really nice bloke. There was all these random people there, all these new people. Um, a little bit weird for me going out with people I'd never met before, but I thought, you know, why not just take the opportunity, branch out. Um, so it started with the raclette. I don't believe we're having like a raclette party. I know! Yeah, beautiful. What better way to fool yourself for a big night out than a bunch of bloody gorgeous, salty, cheesy meat and vegetables and potatoes. Really loved that, and what a nice touch of them to put that on because I knew I liked it. Anyway, after that, the drinking in earnest started. Um, we stayed at the house till about midnight, uh, proper drinking going on. I didn't take too many videos because I didn't want to kind of just dominate the stuff, do you know what I mean? I thought just get on with it, just you know, get stuck in and enjoy and be social. Um, before we left, everyone got a little bit excited. Some of the girls had brought a load of glitter over and they were preparing themselves, glittering up. And I thought, you know what, I may as well get involved. So here's a little bit of me glittering myself and preparing myself for the main event. Right, so it's a glitter station here to prepare for the evening out. I've been persuaded to glitter myself up a little bit. Um, part of me thought that was a little bit effeminate. Am I in shot there? I feel like I'm way too close to the camera with my head. Give me some kind of feedback. You see, as soon as I start talking, everyone else starts talking like me. Everyone else is going... I'm a little bit paranoid that people are mocking my accent now. Although I'm preferring to think that it's just because I put the Russian cheese back in the fridge. I'm right. from Manchester, mate. Uh, you don't sound like you are. Right, so I'm moisturising a base layer. Um, I'm a, it's going to be like war paints in my mind um, to kind of warn people <laughs> what I'm about tonight. Well, that, that's cheese actually sticks. Perhaps if I turn this screen round, you just carry on holding the camera and I can use it almost like a mirror, can't I? Well, I'm not too close. You're all right, I'm sorry. Right, just... I want the purple, but now my fingers are too slippery from this base moisturiser I've used. Here we go, I'm easing it off. I'm easing it off. I'm going to that down a little bit. Right, here we go. So we're getting purple. Wow, so it's all over me. Oh, look at that. I like that. It's all over me. It's an organised So in a way, it's like wall paint. And in another way, it's a little bit like a fairy has tweaked on me. Oh, fairy fanny. Um, so we've got some purple. And I think now I'm just going to add in there a little bit of green because apparently geniuses choose the colour green so it's kind of my flamboyant side um, and then my geniusness, my, my intellect, I'm not a genius, you know, I'm smart, I don't know, I'm a genius. Um, he says as he wipes glitter on his face. Right, I'm going to have to probably use a mirror and tie that off a little bit. I think I might look like a twat. Um, I'm not too sure. His little bow tie, it does make me laugh. <laughs> Are you looking forward to it? Uh, wow, yeah. you've really gone all out with the glitter. It matches your bow tie. I love glitter. Yeah, it's really good stuff. Literally everyone. I speak to, and it's not just been tonight, 
oh. recently. So, and I was thinking, right, I'll cut that off there. It's just more of me putting glitter on my face and having a little moan about people mocking my accent. I don't think they are mocking me, but I definitely have noticed it. It's not me being paranoid. People do mimic my accent when they meet me. Uh, they try to sound like me for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, so ready to leave after that. Now they advised me it was going to be a really heavy duty night. It was going to be kicking off in there a little bit to some degree. Uh, so I was better off leaving my camera there. Uh, so I did because I didn't want to get nicked or broken or something. And it was definitely the right decision. It was proper hectic in there. Um, here's a little clip. It's only off my phone um, and it ran out of battery shortly after that. But this is the club. <laughs> stayed in the club for about three, four hours, got to about four in the morning. Um, I'd kind of left the group that I'd gone with and met more people as you do on a big night out. Um, and some people invited me back to their house in Eastern for a few beers and stuff to continue the party. So I went back there and I ended up walking home this morning about seven o'clock and it was, oh, I hate that walk of shame. It's so grim. When the hangover's just starting to kick in, you've got that horrible, dirty feel, you know, the sunlight feels like it's burning your soul. The kind of ozone layer between you is disintegrated due to drinking and still being awake when it's light again. Yeah, really, really grim. I walked through a council estate and I saw this horrible sight. Well, it wasn't a horrible sight, but it was just depressing. There was this mum outside of our house and she still had last night's slap on and then a garden like the bloody recycling bin was overflowing with cider cans and stuff and she was just smoking a cigarette staring thousand yard stare with soulless aisle soulless eyes so as walking past a baby started to cry from inside and she just looked like she wanted to die it was awful uh yeah but i'm back home now um i'm really starting to feel rough and hungover and very very tired so i don't think i'm gonna edit this video together i don't think i can cope with looking at my face and editing it i'll do that tomorrow and put it out i'm sorry for that but yeah it's been a long one and it's been a while since i've done this i need to do it again i need to start embracing life and moving on and kicking off and smashing stuff up well not literally smashing stuff up but tearing up trees I'm not going to make many videos this week, I'm just concentrating and getting my Afghan dance send out in the next couple of days. Uh, if anything big happens, obviously, I'll come back to you and come at you. But until then, you will catch me on the flip side where I will be titillating you with my musical revenge on Afghanistani and Dan.